All right. So now let's try to compare like torch tensors versus num versus numpy arrays. I mean, so far you have seen that whatever you can do with numpy arrays, you can do with uh, torch tensors. So that more or uh, less like uh, true. Now numpy arrays, whatever computation is happening, it will happen in the CPU. Okay. One big biggest difference why we need tensors is because tensors will allow you to perform those computations, whatever those computations are, multiplication, addition, on the GPU, which will be much more efficient. Okay, that doesn't mean that you can't do these, uh, you can't use these tensors on CPU. Of course, they will allow you to do computation on CPU as well, but in addition to CPU, you can use them on GPUs. Okay, so torch uh, torch dot once uh, uh, five is the uh, dimension, so that will give you like a uh, five dimensional, uh, one dimensional vector with five different values. It's one, so all will be one. And this allows you to convert your NumPy array to torch tensor. And again, this will come very handy because you'll have to like uh, go back and forth. It might be you want to work completely on NumPy because your operations are being done on CPUs. And then when you want to start like training of your model, then you want to transfer all of those NumPy arrays to uh, PyTorch tensors. Okay. So to go from to go from PyTorch tensors to NumPy array, you just do like your tensor dot NumPy, then B is going to be uh, a NumPy array. A was a PyTorch tensor. You can do like the other way around as well. For example, if you have like a NumPy array, then you can call like torch dot from NumPy. So in this case, A is your NumPy array and B is your torch tensor. Okay, so these are like, I think two handy uh, functions you will need.